you about raising this stir? I said you must let Isabella alone, I beg you. Unless you were tired of being received here and, and you wish Edgar to draw the bolts against you. God forbid he should try. Go keep him meek and patient. I love Heathcliff more than you have ever loved Edgar, and he might love me if you would let him. I know I could never love a Linton. And yet he's quite capable of marrying you to hurt me. He's as good as told me. I don't believe you. What is it to you? I have a right to kiss her. If she chooses, and you have no right to object. I am not your husband. There's no need for you to be jealous. You like Isabella, you will marry her. But do you like a Heathcliff? Tell the truth. Answer me. Answer me! You will not leave here until you answer me! Actually, you wish me to marry Isabella, I'd come right about it. Take her, if it pleases you. You clearly prefer the bliss of inflicting misery to the bliss of our love. This is insufferable. It is disgraceful that you should own him for a friend and force his company on me. <laughs> is that how you call it, sir? I have so far been forbearing with you, sir. Your presence is... A moral poison that would contaminate the most virtuous. For that cause and to prevent worse consequences, I shall deny you hereafter admission into this house. Kathy, this lamb of yours threatens like a bull. It's in danger of splitting his skull against my knuckle. I require your instant departure, sir. One minute's delay will render it involuntary and ignominious. Now, I will not move until I hear an apology from you. Apology? After constant indulgence of both men, I earn for thanks two samples of blind ingratitude. Edgar, I was defending you and yours. Kathy, please get out of my way. Apologize. Get out of my way. Make an apology or allow yourself to be beaten. <laughs> All I want is your happiness. But I am... I must admit, utterly defeated in this. Indeed, I can only attribute your spite and venom and betrayal to some unfathomable damage deep inside your heart. To think anything else is to think so badly of you that I cannot bear it. Well, I must compliment you on your taste, Cathy. This is the slavering thing that you would prefer to me. Remain where you are, Kathy. I shall not stay, but I wish just to learn whether, after this day's events, you intend to continue your intimacy. For mercy's sake, just let us hear no more of it. Get rid of me. Answer my question. Will you give up Heathcliff hereafter, or will you give up me? It is impossible to be my friend and his at the same time, and I absolutely require to know which you choose. You cannot make me choose! I demand it! If I choose to remain friends with him, Then I shall ask you to leave this house. Yes, speak. Just chastise me for my weakness, to mock me for my kindness. If you hear me out and you still want me to leave, then I shall relinquish any claim I have on you. Very well. If you cast me out, you shall cast out both your wife and your child. I am with child Edgar. Deceiving me! Shush, mistress. I promised the master that I would not tell you. I thought it might help you to accept your new life if you knew what he did. I knew what? That he did betray me, that he's put a knife through my heart! Give over that <laughs> talk, it. Stop that! Miss Cathy, mistress.
It's all right, my dog. It's all right. Are you dreaming? Stay with me, Nelly. If only I were in my own bed in the old house. And that wind rattling against the lattice. Come straight down the moor. Let me have, let me have one breath. When will Heathcliff return? I do not know. If he felt anything for you, he would never return and let you be. I'll try and put him out of your mind. I cannot, Nelly. I cannot. You will not let me.